What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up. Welcome to another reasoning. Quick and fast. Remember we use um, this platform from time to time to um, teach, spread a good word, um, analyze um, situations. So come in and hold your seat now. Like we um <laughs> Jam one, can you do the melody before you start? <laughs> Yo, my voice come like it was up. <clears throat> yeah. Me I do a me I do a um me I do church this morning. You see? Me I play church this morning. Why am I even worse? Why am I even worse? Not a topic, me see you owe me an apology. May I wait for it patiently. Mm hmm Me see you not a topic. You owe me a nice apology. May I wait for it come in one day, one day the spirit I gonna make you do it. And may I wait patiently for it before we die, my friend, we must seek the Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, wanna move, wanna move. 30 seconds on the bus gone, you know. 30 seconds on the bus gone. If you know catch it, um upon the start, you catch it upon the um the remix. <coughs> Mm -hmm. If you not catch up on the start, catch up on the remix. And, um. <laughs> for real, Jamon. Yeah. Um. I remember when you don't see the videos on my, um. My platform. The video is actually on Mr. Vegas TV. Or you can find him on my brother Imotep page. On YouTube. Imotep University. On YouTube. See? So you can subscribe to Imhotep University on YouTube Or you can subscribe to Rickstorm TV Big up Hannibal, where are some general? Or you can subscribe to Subi the Warrior page But these videos, when you can't find them They're going to be on Imhotep's channel Or they're going to be on you know, Rickstorm channel Um, Yeah Alright Remember say also have um. Pepper Seed building our channel on YouTube as well, so you can, you know, you can see the videos them on those channels. You know, in case I delete it off this this platform. You see? Mm. Alright, so we're out in a 10 second. Ghana Road in a 10 second. 10, 9, 8, big up bricks down. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now this reason that this morning is about ladies of uh, Africa and uh, Maka Diamond. See, you know, I try to get some um, perspective or give our perspective on the, on, on, on the feud or whatever is going on, or the quarrel or the whatever, whatever people want to call it. See? I want to read some Bible verse too, no? before we start. This discourse. Proverbs 15, verse 18. Proverbs 15, verse 18. See? It says, A hot tempered person stirs up conflict, but the one who is patient calms a quarrel. Now, before we start, say, we are read from Bible now and we don't believe in the Bible. Please note that the Proverbs are from African people. Alright? Please note that. Please do your research on that. The Proverbs were stolen from by the Europeans them. And um, the Psalms them. See? And some other scriptures. So the Proverbs them, you know, they are chemetic. Alright? So, I could get that off of the table. Yeah? Boom. See? So it says here, you know, 
He says a hot-tempered person stirs up conflict, but the one who is patient calms a quarrel. Right? The same Proverbs 16.32 says, Better a patient person than a warrior, one with self-control than one who takes a city. Zin Proverbs thirty Proverbs twenty verse three says It is to one's honor to avoid strife, but every fool is quick to quarrel. Bugs three sixty five the Proverbs were not written by no Solomon. Just load it load that and make talk about that next time. We don't put out the information upon the Proverbs. They research it before you talk. All right, <clears throat> we can have a discussion upon that at a different time. All right, I tell me not about no Solomon. We now get into that debate this morning. We are we are we are reason about. It's. It is to one's honor. To avoid strife, that I would reason about this morning, not about no Solomon and something. But every fool. Is quick to quarrel. You see. If you want to see a Solomon write it, all right, go, go with your Solomon. I turn not the main point of the reasoning this morning. The main point of the reasoning is, is what it has said. So even if a L.A. Lewis write it, you see, I wait to say. Okay? Okay? But we accept it as Africans, our, our, our African ancestors wrote the, um, the Proverbs, right? So if you want to look it up, look up Amenemope, right? A-M-E-N-O-M-O-P-E, -E right? Amenemope. You can look it up yourself, but that's not interest important right now. So wait, sir. Wait, sir. He said it is to one's honor to avoid strife, but every fool is quick to quarrel. Proverbs 29, 22. An angry person stirs up conflict and a hot-tempered person commits many sins. You hear that? A hot-head, a mad-head, a thin skin commit many sins. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 9, it says, and these are Africans again that road, Ecclesiastes. Do not be quickly provoked in your spirit, for anger resides in the lap of fools. See? May I give you one more? Just to seal it. 2 Timothy 2, 23-24 Right? Do not have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments because you know they produce quarrels. You see? 2 Timothy 2, 23-24 It says Don't have anything to do with foolish Quarrels. Don't have anything to do with stupid arguments because you know they produce quarrels. Listen to the part you know. Listen to the part you carefully and keenly. All you religious people, Christian people, God fearing people, God is love people, God everything people. Listen to the verse here. Yeah. And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome. You see? He says, And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, 
but must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. You see? These are the readings from the book that God gave to the Christians according to the doctrine. The Lord's servant. Now, where they call like a person where they say the Lord's servant? He does say like a pastor. He does say like a priest. He does say like a person who serve God. You see what I say? So we're talking about, so don't get it twisted. We're talking about the Lord's servant here. So I don't want to get it twisted and then go around so and go around so and talk this and talk that and round so round so. We are talking about the pastors. We are talking about the ministers. We are talking about the priests, the deacon, the members them with serving God. Because when you're serving somebody, you're a servant, right? So these are the people we are talking about. In other words, the people them were subscribed to Christianity. The people them were subscribed to Jesus. The people them were subscribed to the doctrine. The people them were subscribed to heaven and hell. These people are servants of God. See? And there is a guide. There is actually a guide for you to follow. There is actually a guide here. If you read it, you will understand, say. From you are serve God. See? You must not be quarrelsome. In other words, quarrel and strife and all of them things eh, are for the people them who are outside. That is the reason why the Bible tells you that. Leave those on the outside to be judged by God. But that is saying, you know, He says, you must judge in the church, but them the outside, make God deal with them. And that the Bible says, you know, in a, in a, in a, Corinth, in a, in a, in a Corinthians. See? So, if the Bible say, see? The Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. What is Minister Mariana doing? Is she quarreling? Is she causing strife? These are the things where we have to answer sincerely, you know. All the people in where I say, people have feelings to and people have to defend themselves and people have to defend them name and all of these things, you know. Me just want to know if it's quarrel she quarreling. Me want to know if she's building strife. And I want to know if she's a foolish person. Those are the questions I may have. See? Based on she took on the role to be a servant of God. She took on the role to teach, to preach, to win souls and all of them things. Eh? See? So she had one at God's top servant. God's top servant, right? So my question is, my question is, better a patient, better a patient person than a warrior right one with self-control than one who takes a city so i want to know if minister maria and i'll have self-control i want to know if right i want to know if um i want to know if thing there if if a hot-tempered person stirs up conflict but the one who is patient calms quarrel if you read this in your Bible, in the Proverbs, Proverbs 15, 18, it says, A hot-tempered person, that means a person who is quick for quarrel, a person who do not make nothing pass, a person who sit down and watch the comments them at the time and get angry, a person where every time somebody says something, as as a um, as servant of God, them see it and them have to come address it, and them address it with 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 with, with hostility. So we want to ask the people, and we are different, Minister Mary and all, right? Not Lady Sa, because Lady Sa is in the world. Lady Sa is like we out here, we are, we are, we are rugged, rugged, you know, all sinners, right? Well, we need to find God. We need to find Jesus. We need to find, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, church. 
So we are all, you know, crosses. Yeah? So what we want to know is, if Minister Marianne Hall is a hot-tempered person, because if she's a hot-tempered person, the Bible says, a hot-tempered person steers up conflict. Now, I want to ask you a question. If what Mr. Minister Marianne Hall is doing, if she's stirring up any conflict with the sisters, them, you see? You see, me no want to tell me, say, are the woman them are war and we, you know, play the gender card now. We know, me no want to hear the gender card now. Because remember, say, we go to school and we, and, we, and, we, and we study how to deal with social issues. Yeah? We have, we have degree for it. So we now deal with the gender thing now with you know, this man. If you say, are the woman them are war? So we have to stay on the sideline. Because when we, the brothers, them are war, the woman them well heavily invested in the war. Zin are in a the conflict, yeah. No, so now we get that out the way. I want to ask a question if what Minister Marian Hall, not Lady Sa, because Lady Sa is dead, according to Minister Marian Hall. I don't know if them resurrect her, me try to keep her name alive, and me used to get beaten feet, right? So I want to know if Minister Marian Hall is a hot tempered person where I stir up conflict, you see, you see. That's what I want to know, you know. See? It says, it says here in Proverbs 20, verse 3, it says, It is to one's honor to avoid strife, but every fool is quick to quarrel. So I want to know from the religious people, the man, everybody will love Tabo, oh, we love God and we fear God. And you know, we don't really go to church, but you know, so we love God. You know, God is God and God is real and God wake me up this morning. So I want to ask, you know, right? Based on this, 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 this dogma where, 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 where we, you know, where, where we were indoctrinated in. I want to ask you now, if it's an honor to avoid strife, what kind of honor we are going to bestow upon Minister Marian Hall? Is Minister Marian Hall avoiding strife at this time when the world that we can see it are is only me, our big old idiot, both here at this present time? Because it says here in the Bible, it's it is to one's honor to avoid strife, but every fool is quick to quarrel. Zin? Zin? So, and it goes on, you know, Proverbs 29 again, it says, An angry person stirs up conflict. So, is Minister Marian all an, a, 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 an angry person? Well on, well on. Because if, if she's an angry person, it says, a hot-tempered person or an angry person commits many sins. This is not me making this up. This is way it clearly written here in the Bible. It says here in Ecclesiastes 7, 9, it says, Do not quickly provoke in your spirit. Do not quickly be provoked in your spirit. That means that when you have the spirit of God, when you have the anointing, when Minister Mariana says she have her, what she get from God, she cannot be easily provoked in the spirit. Because it says, if you're easily provoked in the spirit, right? She say, it says, anger resides in the lap of fools. So if you're easily provoked in the spirit, you know, it means say, yo, you're easy if you get angry, you're easy if you triggered. You understand every little thing bad you, all of them things. But when you're anointing and you're under the wings of God and you deal with God business, you're a servant of God. See? You cannot fall for this. You cannot be easily provoked. To the point where you build strife and cause conflict, right? No. When you are a minister, a pastor, see, based on how me learn it as a little youth ago, me think say all of these things would have been guideline or like we do call it now, protocols are certain things where you follow. As a minister, as a as a public, you know, servant of God, see? Because everybody you, and you, you take on the role to be a public servant of God. So you're supposed to set examples. You understand me? I say, is no in and out. Is no at and cool. Is no me can do it today, tomorrow me not do it. You take on the role and you and you announce to the world, say, I am the anointed one. I am the servant of God. And that are the thing now, you know. All I want to people with on the internet, when you don't see people are the wrongs. When you don't see people are move, 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 move in the wrong direction. When you use some little thing for justify it. But, oh, if people are called up your name, what you're supposed to do, you're not, you're not have blood run through your body. No, 
No, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. When you are a servant of God, you set example. See? In the Proverbs say, a person who is a servant of God who is not a fool, calm quarrels, calm conflicts. You see? We could understand if Minister Marian all did say, me done with church and me back as lady, sir. We could have said, yeah. She had one away out in the world, you know, so somebody called her name, she had, beat, she had beat them back. We're dealing with a minister, people. We're dealing with an anointed minister. No. What you did yesterday, Minister Marian Hall, is very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. But it was well calculated. And it's not the first time I see you do it. Can you do it to even me too? We'll prove on many occasions that you are a liar. I'm going to say it again. We proved you to be a liar. And if a person is a liar, you are also a deceiver because you still want to hold on to Minister Marian Hall while you're being a liar. You say, if Lady Sad did not tell a lie, we don't just know, say, I want to wait and the whole way out here, a liar. But you are a minister and you are a liar. What you did yesterday was very calculated and very unfortunate that you did it. Because you knew what it would have done to Queen Africa. You put out a statement. And your statement was well thought of. You know what you do? You say, you see Africa in a Europe with one he, she, or one boy, girl with some here, like the community, the LG community here, based on what you are implied. And you see Africa out there with her. In other words, you led people to think that, led, that, that Africa, Ghana, Europe, got link up with a such and such type of woman. And you left it out there so everybody could have run with it. So people could have vlog and say, Africa fishy. Africa get exposed in a fishy business. You want to tell me that that's a minister's duty? You want to tell me say you are were, you were acting Christ-like? When you come tell the whole world, say, Africa, I link up with Smadi a Europe, and you make it sound like you never know who she was in Europe with. Only now to find out that is DJ Sunshine and her did a par, and DJ Sunshine, I wanna with selectors, read this Jackie them, etc., etc. But you behaved or said, the way you said it yesterday, you make it sound like you never even knew who she did out there with. She gonna link up with some girl. Me see her out there with some girl. And she come back, come and talk. Oh, the girl. Um, say, wine tastes like Ray, 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 Ray. When is the sister, be a with the sister, say, come to you and I share something with you. And I say, you know, say, so, somebody said something to me a while ago. I mean, I like how it sound. As a matter of fact, you placed yourself in Europe. After the lady, I tell you about an experience. You placed yourself there. And you feel good as a minister. If you sit back and watch the people and say the lady are fish. Or in a fishy business. But you're not going to tell me, say, are the ladies them business, leave it alone. No, we're dealing with a servant of God. I want to justify it with, I freak, I did call her name. Huh? 
So when you did get a message from God to become correct spice, G um, which in him, G the kingdom, Shensia, Aishana, Makadem, everybody, you come from over church and say, yeah, come over here, come fix them up because you see Shensia in a video with Megan the Stallion and want to eat her alive. You say, you see spice, a, a, a skin out on stage and a your thing that and she be change her ways and all of them things. Eh. You say, you see Aishana, you never did know, say, She's still around, but God, God bring up something to your fear. So all you know, say, I know God bring up something about you to Africa when she came out and said, Lady Sada, behavior is not God-like. All you know, say, it's not a message she get from God. Only one alone can hear from God. Then since I just, you alone can hear from God, that means say, you are one of God's top servant. So you don't know, say, the Bible says you must stay away from conflict. You don't realize that the Bible says it's only a fool. Get mixed up in a quarrel. Hmm? You see, when Africa did come, come tell you the truth, be a son where she said, in her spirit. It was wrong of her to come tell you the truth, but nobody never have no problem. When you did come talk your truth, and I mean the, the, the servants them, the other servants them of God, them never have no problem. When you come tell the whole of the woman them in a dance all the truth, so them to stop the way them do, and turn them life over to Jesus. You see? So only Christian people can come over here you now, come, come judge and point fingers, but when somebody else do the same thing by the simple telling you that minister is not a good look you know for you come and beat your body jar and I hold up your breast them not the ear and I say I feel your titty them and I feel your body and all kind of same thing as a minister So how is it that uno can correct people and win souls but somebody else can't tell uno we're in a them spirit? And if we just accept say at this Christianity gone to. Maybe just accept say at this religion, the religion where them indoctrinate us and tell we say we fit follow and get into the kingdom of God if at this it gone to. Oh, you sleep knowing. Say so you basically created a story. Fix it your way. Place yourself there. And come tell the world and leave it out there hanging like Queen Africa go to Europe go find girl. But you never did make it people them know say as she and DJ Sunshine, the selector from Irie FM, and Tony Rebel was out there. Because it's an old.